moving on from Rugged Robot, the next robot we have is LottieBot. So LottieBot also comes with uh, an app that connects via Bluetooth, just like BlueBot does. The difference here being that LottieBot doesn't have any buttons on the back like BlueBot does. So this requires the children to actually create all of the steps and movements throughout the app. The other advancement in the programming journey is that rather than pressing the button to turn left, as it is on BlueBot, in the app, students can actually program what angle they want the robot to move. So that allows them a greater degree of control and greater complexity for the programs they create. With all of that and more advanced programming that you can do in the app, the great thing about that is that it lets you draw shapes. So Otti comes in with a pen holder built in, so you can insert the pen here and then twist the lower. This means that when you're putting in the angles or the line lengths, you can use that to create shapes like squares or more advanced shapes like hexagons, which is not only teaching children about the geometry and the shapes, but also about the coding required to create those shapes. In the same way that Bbot and Bluebot can speak to each other, we also designed LottieBot to communicate as well. So if LottieBot sees a Bbot in the classroom as well, the two will speak. Similar to Rugged Robot, LottieBot also has proximity sensors built into the front. However, these are much more sophisticated. The sensors on LottieBot will actually allow you to measure the distance and then program an output accordingly. As well as that, there's also bumpers on the rear. These will pause the movement if Lottie crashes into anything. And there's also an edge detect sensor, meaning that Lottie won't accidentally drive off the edge of the table. Compared to the other robots in the earlier stages of our programming journey, like Go and Glowbot or even BM Bluebot, LottieBot has a much wider variety of inputs and outputs. 